More protests in Turkey as police use tear gas to disperse thousands of anti-government protesters in Istanbul. Clashes erupted between demonstrators and police after thousands of people staged fresh protests in defiance of Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's call for calm. Protesters marched towards Istanbul's Taksim Square, chanting slogans against Erdogan. Police also clashed with protesters in the capital Ankara as the nationwide unrest enters its ninth day. Erdogan has met with senior officials of his Justice and Development Party to discuss ways to ease tensions. The leader of the opposition Nationalist Movement Party has called for early elections to end the turmoil. Erdogan's party, however, has ruled out that demand. Let's go to Berkeley, California and talk to Ralph Shawman, political commentator. Welcome to the program. So, Mr. Shawman, uh, demonstrations are piling up against Prime Minister Erdogan and a major opposition party member is calling for early elections. Does how likely will early elections take place? Well, the regime has ruled out early elections, even as the Reuters reports tens of thousands of anti-government demonstrators defying the government and Erdogan's demand for an immediate end to protest. Now, Hussein Salik, deputy chairman of the Justice and Development Party of Erdogan, uh, has stated that they will hold uh, presidential elections next year as planned. And there is open speculation that Erdogan is going to attempt to either stand for a fourth term, which would require changing of the Constitution, or uh, attempt to run as president. So there's no indication that the regime intends to give up power in the face of protests. And as this is going on, uh, tens of thousands of Turks have defied Erdogan's call for an end to anti government demonstration. Uh, what began this word is, uh, it, it, it describes it as a campaign against government, against government plans to build over the park, which is the center of protest uh, 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 historically in Turkey. Uh, has now spread into a, 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 an uprising against the authoritarianism of Erdogan and the measures to uh, impose alcohol bans and restrictions upon the lifestyle of the population, which is jealous of its right. secular uh, legacy in, in Turkey. Indeed, well, uh, well, according uh, to what you said as well, Mr. Shawman, I mean, you said that this small protest against a development project has turned into something uh, wide scale against the authoritarian rule of Erdogan. I mean, so how much can we assume that it will have the same consequences which the Arab Spring had? Well, I mean, there, there are very powerful dimensions uh, of this uh, 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 generalized protest which, did, which indicate exactly that. Uh, tens of thousands of fans from the three main football clubs. Uh, who helped organize some of the protests, marched in unison in, on taxi roaring Tayyip Rizain in arm and arm. And in particular, in the Istanbul working class district of Ghazi, where, where there were heavy clashes with working people in, and the police in the 1990s, uh, 5,000 people have been injured and members killed as the regime has attempted to crack down on the population. And these uh, protests have not only occurred throughout Turkey and the working class districts, but in Berlin, where there's a large Turkish population, there are vast protests amongst the immigrant Turks in, 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 in Berlin, waving a red Turkish flag and chanting, Occupy Gezi. And the Turkish Communist Party, through loudspeakers and cheering crowds, the huge mass of, of people turning out in their demands for the regime to step down. So there's no doubt that the protests have, have extended to a, a challenge to the regime's authoritarianism and the austerity measures that it is imposing is a revolt not only against that, but against the subordination of Turkish national interests to the United States and uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar in facilitating the mercenary uprising, uh, or rather the mercenary destabilization of the government of Syria, and even staging on Turkish soil uh, sarin gas right. attacks which were uh, going to be attributed to the Syrian government, which are in fact the work of the, the mercenaries giving support by Erdogan in Turkey. So it's a generalized opposition to the subordination to imperialism, authoritarianism, and the austerity measures that are affecting the population at large in, in drastic fashion. Indeed. Well, we'll have to leave it there. Many thanks to Ralph Shawman, political commentator from Berkeley. Thanks for your time there, sir.